Now let's solve question number 29. Here it states given below is a statement followed by two assumption. Where the statement is the population below poverty line has increased in urban area during the last year. So here are two assumptions given here. You have to choose from them which assumption correctly follows this given statement. Ko. Where the assumptions are first one the population below poverty line has decreased in rural area and the second assumption is the population below poverty line has not increased during the current year and these are the four options provided to you. Coming to this given statement here we are talking about the population in the urban area but the first assumption here tells you about this poverty line has decreased in the rural area. We are not talking about the rural area in the given statement so you cannot conclude anything related to the rural area. So, this assumption is not correctly following this given statement. Next, moving on to the second assumption, the population below the poverty line has not increased during the current year. This is completely contradicting the given statement because given statement states it has increased and this assumption says it has not increased. So, this also not follows the given statement. So, none of these assumptions are following the given statement. That's why out of these four options, your fourth option should be a correct answer which says neither one nor two is implicit. So, answer for this question is option number four. Now, let's move on to the next question. Here, this is question number 30 which is related to syllogism. It states, identify the conclusions which logically follows from the given statements where the first statement is some men are educated Second statement is educated men prefer small families. So, on basis of these two statements, these conclusions are given to you. And let us draw few logical diagrams based on these given statements and try to obtain the conclusion which is following the given statements. So, according to the first statement, some men are educated. So, if some men are educated, that could be completely interpreted by this diagram. Here this circle represents men and this represents the educated population. So, some men are educated. Now, including the second statement that educated men prefer small families. If you consider the best possibility to represent this statement, it could be shown in this way that educated men prefer small families. So, this is the diagram obtained on the basis of the given statements. On basis of this diagram, let us see which of the conclusion follows. So, you can see here on the first conclusion states all small families are educated. So, we cannot say that according to this diagram then some men prefer small families that could be definitely stated through this diagram because this is the common region between men and small families. So, some men definitely represents the small families they prefer small families. So, out of these four options we can see that first says only conclusion one follows which is completely wrong then only conclusion 2 follows. This is correct because we have only second conclusion following this. That is why the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Now, let us discuss the next question. 